Singer, songwriter, actress, producer Debbie Gibson continues to have an amazing career from pop music recording artist to Broadway to TV and film. She is headed here to the islands for a concert coming up at the Hawaii Theater as part of the celebration of 35 years since Lost in Your Eyes. And she joins us live this morning. Debbie, good morning. Aloha. Good morning, aloha. I cannot wait to see you all so super soon. <laughs> you know, you've actually been to the islands before, and so what was the last time you were here like for you? Oh my gosh, you know, I was like kind of in a remote Airbnb house in Maui like 10 years ago, and it was beautiful because there were chickens laying fresh eggs. Like, I'm just a nature fanatic. But I haven't spent a lot of time there in that long, and uh, I'm going to be looking for suggestions from the locals because, you know, so often in my career when I've traveled in and out of town, it's literally been in a day. So um, I can't wait to be back. I haven't done a concert. Like, I think I was touring back in my club days at the very big beginning of my career, but I haven't done a show like this at this point in my career uh, for the Hawaiian people, so I am so excited and ready. We are ready to have you here. Talk about the nostalgic experience that you're wanting to bring to everybody. So, you know, listen, I think that life is chaotic for a lot of people. It's challenging. I think we look to those times, especially for children of the 80s. Hello, shout out to my children of the 80s. Um, you know, it was a simpler time. The music was melodic. It was fun. It was catchy, I think. We were also connected through that communal experience of having to go to record stores and buy albums. And and yet we all want to be living in a modern world and we're all vital and vibrant. And as I like to say, eternally electric right now. And I love to marry the old and the new. And this concert, we're going to feature a lot of the original Electric Youth concert to celebrate the 35th anniversary. And it'll include a few uh, newer songs as well from my latest album, The Body Remembers. So uh I just love that word nostalgia. You know, I think it's important to live in the now, uh, but to pull what you can of the good vibes from the past as well. How do you keep it all together? Because you're doing TV, there's film, there's producing, and then you're going to be back on, you're, you're going basically back out on tour. How do you keep it all together? I mean, I feel like I'm at best when, and like a lot of people, I think especially women out there will relate, we're good at spinning plates, right? We're good at juggling. I'm at my best when I kind of feel like I have too many things to do and I don't know how I'm going to do them all. That's when I rise to the occasion. It's kind of like just part of who I am. I was built for it. I've been doing it that way my whole life. Um, but, you know, I'm enjoying the moment. It's what I was saying about, like, a lot of times, even, you know, when I was touring here in the States, I watched the country go by on the tour bus, but I didn't really get out. Now, this is actually my mini tour bus I'm in right now. It's my RV and I even get behind the wheel quite often to experience the landscape and the people. I've been known to pull over and surprise a fan at their house or somebody's lemonade stand. <laughs> um, so I'm really living my life to the fullest now. And it's just kind of like energy breeds energy and I'm in a slow. And, and so I'm just grateful. I mean, it's, you know, a cliche to say I practice gratitude, but it's really true. I've been through health issues in my last decade that I've really overcome and I've learned how to manage. I'm just grateful for every moment and I love communing with people through this music. It's my favorite thing in the world and I kind of pinch myself daily that I get to do it almost 37 years wow. into this career. So, you, yeah, it's amazing. Your RV looks beautiful. Real quickly here, just a reminder that uh, she's going to be in concert. That's going to be this coming Monday at Hawaii Theater. Get your tickets now. Go to Hawaii Theater's website. And after that, she's off to Manila and Singapore. Debbie Gibson joining us this morning. Debbie, thank you very much. We can't wait to see you here. Thank you. Shout out to my Diamond Deb heads and all the Hawaiian people who are going to come to the concert. Mwah. Sending love. All right. We've got more for you coming up on Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. We'll be right back.